How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to use Siri on the iPad slash iPad mini. Now, if you're, let me start with the iPad mini first. And actually, activating it is going to be the same. So pretty much you just hold down on the home button and Siri will launch and it will say, what can I do for you? Good morning, Siri. And it was listening, see. Gotta talk quick. I have everything I need in the cloud. There it is. Good morning, Siri. Good morning. It's 12.02 a.m. <laughs> Look, Siri's calling me out. She's like, it's not morning time. Good afternoon, Siri. Hi. By the way, it's 12.02 a.m. Siri can be a little sarcastic sometimes. What's the weather going to be like today? It should be nice today. Up to 72 degrees and partly sunny. See that? Are there any good movies playing right now, Siri? I found quite a number of movies playing nearby today. There you I've go. I sorted them by quality. So that's just a little preview of kind of how Siri works. You tap the button to talk, tap it again, or sometimes it will just know when you stop talking and it will answer. Now, if your Siri is not activating when you hold the home button, go to your settings, go to general, and then tap Siri and make sure Siri is on. If Siri is turned off, um, when you hold the home button, it will not allow you to um, ask Siri questions. So just keep that in mind, okay? Um, now, for you regular iPad people, again, Siri launched the same just by holding the home button. Um, Siri does not work on the iPad 1 or 2. Um, I believe uh, third generation iPad and, and after that, uh, those are the ones that Siri is active on. So, unfortunately, there is no way right now to get Siri on the first or second iPad unless you probably jailbreak or download like a, an app that's similar to Siri. So, that's just the way it is. All right, uh, that's it. Hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech Videos and have a good one.